purpose is how I can raise up ordinary men, turning them to become supernatural beings, financial apostles, making life better, bringing people from the dungeon of sin, bringing them into the faith, planting their feet, and raising them. Whenever you see a man of God say, I am better than everybody. No. He's a demon of lie. And every man of God that does not know how to celebrate another man's grace will end up being full of jealousy. Why are preachers joining members against members? Jealousy. Simple. Don't listen to that man of God. Don't listen to that preacher. Why? Why? Check. Pride. Pride of I am the elder sister in this family. Why must my younger sister get married before me? Is pride. There is no school of destiny that I say because you are the elder sister you must marry first. When your husband come, your husband come. So don't say my my younger sister must not marry. And if you're a younger sister, you want to get married, and you are chasing the men that are supposed to come to your life. Ah, I want my elder sister to marry. Can you go and marry my elder sister? How foolish are thou? Your elder sister will soon leave her the house. You will be there. You will pound the arm tire for your mother. And hear this if you're an elder sister, God can be preparing the best for the last. That's it. Your younger sister must have had the first daughter before you. You can give back to triplet at once. Pwah! So don't envy anybody. Another reason I'm, I'm talking about the under pride in family, some elder sister have, have, or elder brother have, are proud of their age in destiny your age is added don't hold age keep age aside it's not how long but how far some of you tell you that do you know my ministry is older than you and so what if your ministry is older than me I'm our own. And so what? Is it how old is your ministry or how well you have been able to impact lives? Medusella lived 969 years. All he did was to beget species of his kind. Adam lived 930 years. They were just production machines. Jesus lived 33 years. 33. And did ministry for 3 good years. Affected the whole world. And we are talking about him. We are quiet about the oldest man on earth. Medusela. So don't, stop, don't use your age. Stop using your age as pride. Age is a number. Work is an impact. I am old. I am old. I am old. Are you are old doing what? Pride. Pride is one of the cause reasons, the causes of what? Of jealousy. Another second cause of jealousy is insecurity in leadership insecurity there are leaders that are not secure they feel insecure they are intimidated when somebody is rising up around them they can easily envy their followers and such leaders are amateur 
It is always good as a leader to have people coming up to challenge you so that you can go back to increase your capacity and velocity. Insecurity. You are in a department, somebody is talking about the pouring out wisdom that you, you, are in, you, are, you are feeling in, intimidated. Why are you feeling intimidated? Then you become jealous. You are not, he is not a leader, but you are jealous of him. Somebody comes and holds the mic and sing within three minutes around your, your department as a choir. Who say if I allow this person now, you go, you go come talk. Shut up, sit down there. When you are jealous of people who have the capacity to outshine you, it means you are not even a star. When you know you are a star, the sky is too big for two stars to clash. Understand that? Shine your side. I shine my side. God no fears. You are a star. I am a star. Shine a shine for the light coming. And I'm, I'm talking to somebody here. You are a city that is set upon the mountain, so your light cannot be hidden. Arise and shine for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord shall be risen all over you. There is no prosperity of another man that can make me feel insecure. The success of my brother cannot make me feel insecure. I understand this that I am a star and you are a star. The fact that I'm a star does not mean that people around me should not be a star because I understand star give back to star. Am I talking to somebody here? You are a star generation. I thought somebody hearing that amen well. You are a star generation. Shine your side. Shine your side. Shine your side. Shine your shine. Shout that like thunder. Wow. Third causes of jealousy is the spirit of competition. There are people that are competing you, but you are not competing them. You, am I talking to somebody here? There are people who are competing you. You don't know that they are competing you. So, you are just running your race effortlessly. They look at you, they want to be like you, and they want to be better than you. They look, use your strategy, but they don't know that using your strategy does not make them master. Imitation brings limitation. Oga na master. So, when they get to a particular point where they apply your methodology but don't have the spirit behind the methodology, they become frustrated because you are still overtaking them. So, they jealous you. You must understand the spirit of competition, the end product will lead to jealousy. Rather than competing a grace, complement the grace. Hear this. There is where you are strong that I'm weak. There is where I am strong that you are weak. You must understand this. When you have that competitive spirit, you'll be jealous. All through the life of Saul, he was trying to make a point to David. And the point was that I am better than you. The more he makes the point, the more he fails, the more he goes down, and the more he runs down himself, the more he disgraces himself, the more David becomes better and better and better and better. Imagine a president of a country using the old troop of a battalion of his army chasing one man in the forest. Now hear this. Sometimes people that compete you are even on the throne. You have not got into the throne, but they are intimidated. They are afraid. They don't want anybody to overtake them. When people, when you are always afraid, I don't want. I want everybody to see me to be the greatest man of God. Keep quiet. People have been doing this work of God before you were born. 
and they have said bye bye to the earth before you now came and one day you will say bye bye to the earth I have understood this principle very well I understood this principle and I told myself that God forbid that I am the enemy man of God I am simply doing what I am brought to do I am running my ministry without pressure from any kind because I understand on the last day I will not be asked how many churches you build how many crowd you gather I will be asked are you rapturable are you washed by the blood of the Lord are you are you clean and righteous are you ready to enter into the church of your father I am not conscious to be an adversary to call people to enter into the bus and yet I am not following them to travel there are a lot of preachers and pastors who are too conscious of public opinion than God's opinion I want people to think that's why some pastors go into propaganda you, you see them saying they have church all over the world and when you go there there are no churches who is pursuing you who are you pursuing why are you deceiving yourself be yourself Stop spraying propaganda. Stay calm and run ministry the way it should be run. I met with one man of God. He said, I, in one country, I have, I have almost 50 branches. I said, yeah. I got to the country, not even a small sandboard. Why? Why? This is this issue of trying to feel big who is competing you who are you chasing who is chasing you politicians are doing competition and now pastors have carried it if you see politics in ministry we have pdp in ministry we have scn in ministry we have action group in ministry in the church of god we have them in the ministry political party in charge men of God are wearing some political tag and conversing for vote I become like some politician who will lie I will give you water na 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 it will be all over your house vote me today you will see water and electricity very soon some politician will soon tell you I will create a machine that will carry you into your bed carry you outside vote me in <laughs> hallelujah so much had fire ah, ha, ha. some say I believe and I curse of jealousy is inferiority complex some people feel inferior they are too timid they don't, they don't have any belief in what they can do so when they see somebody who is already advancing his curse in destiny they feel offended and affected so they try to run the person down lower than themselves. Now hear this. That's that about curses of jealousy. Now hear this. Any man who has the spirit of jealousy around you, get this, facts about it. One, you can't please them. Number two, you can't change their mind about you. Number three, they must devise a means to hurt you. One, you can't please them. Facts about people who jealous you. One, you can't please them. Number two, you can't change their mind. No matter what you do, you can't change their mind about you. Number three, they will devise a means to hurt you. No matter what you do, they must hurt you. And that's why when you know somebody is jealous of you, 
please run from the person. If you don't run, let's look at Psalms of Solomon chapter 8 verse 6. Look at the scripture there. Psalms of Solomon chapter 8 verse 6. Songs of Solomon chapter 8 verse 6. Now look at it. He said, Set me as a seal upon thy heart, as a seal upon thy heart, for love is strong as death. Jealousy is cruel as the grave. That means when jealousy is in oppression, it, it is not only killing you, it has also prepared your graveyard. People who are jealous of you, they will not stop until they bury you. What will make pastors to be together in the same pastor's meeting and they are having lunch or dinner together and one is poison among them? Jealousy. When jealousy is around, even in the church, it's dangerous. When members jealous their pastor, it's terrible. You want the man to speak in tongues and pray for you, you should be prospering. Why him? He should not prosper. You should drive better car, him should go on bicycle. You should live in better house, he should stay in Gwari house. I said, I won't mention the name of the ministry. I pastor under that ministry. And I was an as associate assistant pastor to my reverend. And I said, the leaders of the church, church deacons and church committees, they came to visit him and met him eating egg and what other things like that, added with some few Jews. It became an issue. They wrote petition against him to the headquarters. I laid so many allegations that our tithes and offering, this man has been enjoying himself with our tithes and offering and they remove him. That's why I know that some pastors should learn how to shout Holy Ghost, fire! Why should your pastor get a car and you are angry? He should be drinking. Say, Pastor, pray for me. The man pray for you. Father, open door. He say, by the grace of God, the Lord has blessed me with our number third car. The man pray for you, have third car. And he's still driving Okada. And the day God give him a car, you are angry. Oh, Lord, oh, Rabata. Oh, church, Lord, my church. The prosperity of your pastor should be your joy. It should be your joy that your pastor is passing and you point out. I said, that's my pastor. That's him passing there. That's him in the television. That's him here. I am proud. When I was poor several years ago in uh, Ibado, when I'm passing and my members see me, they will not introduce me at all. They will turn their back. They will say, hide, hide, hide. He didn't look here. He did, is he watching me? Is he watching me? Please cover me, cover me. Because they don't want to identify with me. I will put on my jungle boot. I'm coming. They cannot introduce me. I prophesy. I prophesy. You will not be a reproach to the gospel. Kabayata. Kabayata. You will not be a reproach to the gospel. I touch somebody shouting that amen. <laughs> Kabayata. Sit down. <laughs> oh. I thought somebody shouting a bigger amen. amen. Shout the amen like thunder. Mm. Kabayakata. First Samuel chapter 18 verse 8. 
1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 8. Wow. Are we there? Yabakata. And Saul was very loud, saying, This dis saying displeased him. He said, They have ascribed unto David ten thousands, and to me they ascribe but thousands. And what can I? And what can he have more but the kingdom? Sometime, hear this. Sometime, the reason why people jealous you is not because you are even sharing your testimony, it's because other people are helping you to talk, share your testimony. Others, some of the time, you don't know when you be, when you are making impact, people spray your testimony. They carry it to where the kings are sitting down. So the kings look and say, Who is this boy? This small boy. Now, he said, how can the women of Israel ascribe 10,000 to David and me a sitting king? A thousand? What more are they requesting? They want my kingdom be that. So for, for this man to be greatly praised like this, hear this, David has not even, there was no ambition in the heart of David to become a king. He recognized Saul as a king. But Saul was intimidated. He felt insecure. That was, this is the genesis of why Saul started chasing David, looking for a way to kill him. You don't know why some people are running you down. So I see some pastors trying to please some fathers. There are some fathers that can never be pleased. As long as you are where you are, now they cannot be pleased. Hear this. Any father that cannot stand your prosperity will not take you further. The father will cliff your feather. And that's why you must be very careful of fathers that are breakers of feathers. You need a father to go further. But when your envy comes from the top, it is dangerous. Habayakata. I prophesy to you. I thought you were shouting that. I prophesy to you. Anyone holding your glory, anyone holding your power, I prophesy they are scattered. Shout that amen like thunder. Psalm 37, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 37, verse 1 to 3. Oh, Shabala Bagadaba. Magaba. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Now, God is talking to you. There are some of you who are jealous, who envy some people, workers of iniquity. You see a lady just come out and, she's, and she's, she can't, she, she's driving a car. See, 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 this small girl, I seen your heart. You want to be like her. If you tell you what she's doing, the Bible called them workers of iniquity. They sleep with seven al haji. Sleep up and down. They can sleep with animal. Their secret is so bad. Say, young man, you are envious. It's a shame. I consider it insanity for a man to be sleeping with a man. It's a mental case. It's a psychiatric case. There are some people we should capture and put chain on their hands and rush them to psychiatric hospital quickly. They need a mad emergency attention. How can you be falling in love with the same sex? Same sex. Yeah, a, woman, a lady and, a, and a, a, a woman is falling in love with you. Say, I will take care of you. It's a mental case. Say, 
Some ladies will begin to invite another lady. Let me take you to Mr. Biggs. I will buy you everything. I love you. How? How? You see, I, I, I don't know. There are some people we need to capture them. Capture them. Let us flog them. Some Holy Ghost Koboko. It's a mental case. I thank God for the government of good luck, Jonathan. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God for the Lord that was passing. I thank God for it. I thank God for it. And yet when the pastor, some other people are, 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 are screaming. It's a, it's a mental case. Some people we think are civilized. They are not civilized. Yes, Village has entered some modern war. A brother like you, you are a full brother and they are calling you sister. A man is chasing you as a sweetheart and you say, hey, 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 you are a problem. The Bible called their prosperity. It is evil iniquity, workers of iniquity. Don't envy that kind of prosperity. A lady is cancelling. He said, look at you, mother of Jesus. You are going to church. Don't you see how I'm prosperous? Tell her to keep quiet. Headquarter of HIV is talking to you. Few days. All those things she gathers, she will not enjoy it. There is a blessing that make it rich and added no sorrow. Don't envy this kind of prosperity. Don't have it. There are some men of God who are running after another man of God. And you don't know the secret of how they get there. Listen, wait for your own time. Job said, all the days of my life, I will wait until my change come. I will wait. I will wait. I will wait. Life is turn by turn. Life is turn by turn. If you are on top, it is your time. My own time will come. I, have, I was telling some younger generation at our level. I said, what, 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 what are you fighting? There are some people who are on top now. Whether they like it or not, by age, they will be promoted to go to heaven. And other people will come to their position. So why are you killing yourself? You want to be popular overnight. You want to be here overnight. You are killing yourself. Ascribing all kind of lie. Fake prosperity, fake fame. When you meet some men of God, they tell you, I have branches all over the world. And I begin to look, ow, oh, ow. Oh. Even people who have been there for years don't have it all over the world. Lie, fake prosperity. There are some people you should be very careful of their testimony. Some testimony are not testimony. The person is already envious of you, so he's sharing the testimony to intimidate your own success. Say, do you know me? My husband, my husband is a special man. If you see my husband, my husband, wow, wow. When I don't like, eh, even before I do, eh, he has dropped one million. You, you, you are going home to fight your, your husband. You will soon die of hypertension. <laughs> I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Somebody is telling you that his husband has all, all everything. And when I she will get back home, the man will say, shut up there. Pam. Give her a slap. I say, shut up. Even 3,000, she needs to see collect. Be careful of those people sharing testimony around you. Someone just come around you and say, this is my latest car. You don't know his borrow pose. You go borrow him. Stop. Don't kill yourself. People who are competing you and jealous of you will always come to you to prove to you that they are better than you. But they know you are better than them. 
So they share fake testimony to intimidate you, to suppress your standard and to make you feel inferior. The way to handle those kind of people, I thank God for you. God bless you. Remove your eye and continue your life. Don't struggle, don't, don't compete them. 